And just a matter of hours from now, FEMA will be in Ohio to begin assessments. At the state's request, the agency will survey at least 11 different Ohio cities that experienced tornado damage nearly two weeks ago. One area it'll be working with local assessment groups in is Indian Lake. In Lakeview tonight, Jenna Lee Bork found out what comes next. FEMA is coming in to verify and validate information already gathered by state and local governments about the damage that these areas have suffered. Then in order to get federal assistance, it is up to the state. That information then could be used by the state to make a decision about whether or not to proceed with seeking a federal disaster declaration from FEMA or from another federal agency uh, at the state's determination or not seeking a, a request. Indian Lake was one of the hardest hit areas by tornadoes on March 14th. Efforts by the community and others have been nonstop ever since. You know, day one, as compared to what it looks like today, is, is night and day, but we have a lot more work, a lot of more work to go through. The volunteerism and the collaboration with just all kinds of people uh, across the United States has been outstanding. The recovery phase is a process. Logan County PIO Ben Volrath says last week the Small Business Administration was here meeting with business owners who may need its assistance. Tomorrow, it's FEMA that is showing up. FEMA will be on, uh, on the grounds doing their joint preliminary damage assessments, which is really their, their opportunity to get a firsthand look at what took place, how extensive the damage is, number of impacted residents, and kind of giving a sense of what, what the cost might be to, uh, to, to do a full recovery. If the conclusion is that the state can't shoulder the cost to recover, it can make a formal request for federal help. The help can be used in a variety of ways. Some of that might be in the form of uh, funding for um, reimbursement of uh, expenses that have been incurred to date. So thinking like debris removal, if funding were to be approved, it would be helpful for uh, kind of the temporary housing and, and the rebuilding side. Even if federal help becomes available at some point, Village of Lakeview's mayor, Elaine Fagan Moore, says the community still needs volunteers to come now. You know, at first it was a lot, a lot of different um, businesses and construction companies, but now we truly need people to still come up here and help. The mayor's message to visitors of Indian Lake is that the area is ready. We're back, Lakeview's open for business, and we're just going to come back bigger and better and stronger. Volroth tells me that over 300 homes have either been completely destroyed or have had significant damage, and about 40 to 50 businesses have had some type of damage done to them. So it's going to take a while for this area to fully recover. Back to you.